Benedict, is your thing just, when, when did the shirt come off in practice? I've noticed it's like your thing to just shoot without a shirt. Oh, <laughs> oh it's just pretty much me, just uh, comfortable. You know, it's my home, so uh, it's just me comfortable and taking my shirt off. You've been doing it like since you were a kid or? Pretty much since I was 14, I started taking my shirt off all the time. Gotcha. I got a little muscle in me. <laughs> so you saw what Chet Holmgren did last night. Do you want to make that kind of impression? Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, he had a pretty good game. I was, I was impressed with what he did, mm -hmm. for sure. I mean, why not have a game like this too? Yeah. What, what do you personally want to accomplish in the next couple of couple of weeks, couple of days? Oh, uh, just pretty much getting used to uh, NBA spacing. You know, mm -hmm. um, having we we just started young, going back and forth, five and five. Um, just pretty much uh, being comfortable on the court and um, being being familiar with the players. You've worked a lot one on one with Rick Carlisle over these last few years. How important has that been on top of getting these practices in? It's been pretty good. Um, you know, Rick Carlisle is the one who um, who's gonna put me in the game. So obviously, um, he wants to play me a certain way. I'm gonna have to do it. And um, so it's been it's been pretty good just getting some extra work after practice. Who's winning uh, the next one on one? Is it you? Is it Gennaro? It's me, man. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> But in all seriousness, what is it like to have a coach kind of push you like that and bring that competitive edge out, you know, in these kind of maybe dog days of the summer? It's fun. It's really, it's really great. Um, you know, like you said, having a coach who's uh, pushing me uh, to the best of me um, just every single day, it's a great feeling. You know, I want to go out there and uh, and try to be all, you know, the best on the court every time. And uh, just having someone who, 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 who's pushing me is always a great thing. Are you allowed to call foul when when, when y'all play one on one, or he only gets the fouls? I don't know. No, nah, he's trying to guard me sometimes. I don't know if he can, but <laughs> but uh, no, nah, it's pretty good. You know, just going against him almost every day. Mm -hmm. um, it's great. So far, you've been off the court last. I think every practice has that been something of yours that you've done going back to college and high school. For the sure. Last one in. Yeah, I think it started since high school. Um, I was you know was trying. To be the first and the last in the gym. And um, just try to get some extra work every single day I can. Every summer league roster is made up of different, you know, experienced players, but there are like six or seven guys that have been in the NBA and then you have the draft class. I mean, is it unrealistic to have high expectations for what you could accomplish out in Vegas? Is there a team goal? Oh, uh, for sure. You know, we go out there to, uh, to get the most wins possible. We're trying to win, we're trying to win it all. Um, we're going out there with a purpose, obviously. So um, just going out there and fight and trying to get every single one. How would you describe the makeup of the team and maybe the style of play that we'll see? Uh, pretty much playing, you know, playing fast, but also um, trusting each other, basically. You know, if I take a shot or Chris or Andrew takes a shot, um, you know, everybody has the same, has, has the same trust and everybody, you know, so pretty much trusting each other and play together. How excited are you when you look around and see the rocks? This summer league roster and all the experience, like what does that do for you and your game? Um, it's pretty, it's pretty fun. He's all about the paces yeah, over. Yeah, it's fun, you know. Um, I played against Chris um, last year against Oregon. He gave me the work, so I'm glad he's on my team now. But um, having you know some guys who are in the league, they've seen a couple of things that I wasn't able to see. Um, just having them sharing, sharing them to the team in general, um, just gonna help us get better. You had any like one on one, two on two sessions before? We haven't seen after practice, but anything before off day or anything? Oh, probably off days. I'm trying. I'm always trying to work. Um, JP is always someone I'm trying to play against because um, he likes to talk. So I, you know, I have to uh, to play against him. But yeah. Is there a part of you like again all the attention that you've received since being a lottery pick? Is there a part of you that finds it maybe calming to just go out there and play now? Yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, like you said, the draft was two weeks ago. Um, I'm really excited just. To put a uniform on and just go play a game. You know, um, basketball is what I love to do. So I just want to go out there and, and hoop. What was that moment for you a couple days ago going up and actually signing the contract and it actually being official? Um, great. Like I said, really uh, signing the contract being official. It's uh, pressure off my shoulder now, but um, just about me staying focused and go out, going out there and hoop.